the Toronto Maple Leafs. One of the most highly decorated and beloved organizations in all of professional sports. In this video, I'm using my stomach to cheer my team on as I attempt to only eat foods that are colored after and inspired by them. This is the 10,000 calorie blue and white food challenge. Eric here, back at you with a brand new video and a brand new food challenge. That's right. Now, before we dive into any of this deliciousness, you already know the drill. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button down below. Now, like usual, there is a theme happening with this food challenge. And if you couldn't guess, This one is inspired by the NHL playoffs that are coming up and, of course, the beloved Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, regardless if you're a fan of Toronto, another team in the NHL, or just the sport in general, I figured it'd be fun to get a bunch of foods that are blue and white in color and just indulge myself. So, obviously, I'm going to share with all you lovely and beautiful folks out there. And we're going to get things going because I'm pretty hungry. had a nice workout this morning and uh, I haven't eaten since, so... This is definitely going to be fueling me up and then some after that. <laughs> but as far as rules go for the challenge, I'm not going to give myself a time limit. If you guys saw the Easter video I did a few weeks back where I ate about 13,000 calories in Easter candy, which if you haven't seen it, I'm going to toss a link up on the screen for you to check out. Totally worth it. But definitely took me a lot longer than I thought and hoped it would for me to get through that. So again, not going to give myself a time limit here, but... We're gonna make sure everything on the table is consumed and see how quick we can get through this. I think it'll be a little bit quicker than the Easter challenge. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick breakdown of everything we got on the table and then we're gonna get things going. So on my left here, I've got uh, some vanilla wafers, got some blue and white cupcakes, some blueberry mini muffins, rice pudding, pack of eight, Waffles, two ranch Doritos, a delicious, possibly delicious, I've never tried it before, John Tavares Recipe 91 Cereal, Oh Captain, My Captain, white chocolate chips, last but certainly not least, I'm not going to lift all these up because I don't want these to fall over, but... Some blue and white frosted donuts from our lovely friends at Tim Hortons. And as always, trusty mammoth mug full of water, Diet Pepsi, health and fitness, and almond milk. Also blue, fits the theme. Let's just put this down on the ground for right now. Give myself a little in my uh, trusty Maple Leafs glass. Put this on the ground too, just so we got a little bit more room until after. I think I made the mistake last time not starting with the donuts, so we're definitely gonna start with some of those, I think. White one first, and we're gonna dive in. Five, four, three, two, one. So this is an old fashioned glazed donut with some white icing on the top. I don't know if you guys can see very well from there, but like, holy jeez. Mm. 
still curious, let me know in the comments below. I may have asked this already before, but what's your favorite donut? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's go for the sweet ones first. Gotta have a blue one. Blue. Like the glaze with like the icing. Oh my god. Or oh, candy crush when you play that candy crush, it'll be like got yeah, like a bunch of matches or something, it would be like sugar crush. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna crush these cupcakes. We're gonna be bouncing around a little bit, I think, in this one. So these are vanilla and chocolate blue and white cupcakes. Yes, and I know there's like black sprinkles on there, but I had a hard time finding blue and white cupcakes. So pretty close. It's still white ice. I wasn't gonna wreck them by picking the black sprinkles off, so chocolate action. It's actually kind of light. It's nice. When it comes to pastries or, you know, cupcakes, donuts, sweets in general, even ice cream, I guess, are you more of a chocolate or a vanilla person? Let me know in the comments below. Chicka, chicka, what? Chicka, yeah. Okay. As you guys can see. <clears throat> I call this icing the Jeff Bezos icing. Because it is quite rich. Okay, so those are done. <sighs> Go. Okay, yeah, let's get these out of the way. Okay, so these ones don't have any glaze on them, but they'll have the icing on top. By the way, if you're curious, this is two full tubes of icing on these donuts. Full tube. Last bite for this one. <clears throat> Last donut. Okay, last bite. I feel like these waffles are probably getting cold, so we're gonna go with these. Stack of eight waffles. Ooh. 
Now, if you are a Toronto fan or familiar, a few years ago, there was a running joke about these things and the Leafs, which made me contemplate on if it was a good idea to buy them or not. But uh, blueberry, so the blue. I also thought it'd be kind of funny. Nice. But if you're curious, look it up. Someone actually just used to throw waffles onto the ice when they weren't playing very well. Shocking, right? I didn't think Toronto ever doesn't play well. It's definitely not right grammar, but anyways, cheers. Why I did that? Just the thought here. I wonder if this would work for like. Does it look like a stack of pogs? Just like really big pogs. Delicious pogs. Hey, I won too. A little dry. A little dry. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hey, I made a donut waffle. Very cool. Innovation at its finest. Oh, my apologies. Before I started, date and time. We're a little bit of way into it. My apologies. 428, Tuesday, April 26th. Probably only maybe 10, 15 minutes into it. So probably started just after four. Over halfway with the waffles, we got three more. Yeah. Waffles are good, it's just nothing amazing without like butter and syrup, which hindsight always, but believe it or not, it's probably hard to find some blue syrup I guess butter would be whitish more like yellow but okay Oops. done there's crumbs everywhere Let's get these wafers out of the way. It's vanilla wafers. Yeah, it's funny. Blue on the outside and also white. A couple wafers. Smell very vanilla y. Vanilla y. I know this is a hockey video, but not everything we eat is going to be a home run, you know? These are honestly pretty light. I'm just going to... Sugar, sugar. Oh, 
Shaka Shaka. Oh, Shaka Shaka. Thought I have at least one remix per video. chips Oof. it's the last like major sweetness thing so I feel like get through this and then it'll be a little bit more smooth sailing I guess just chocolate chips I don't know if you can see in there or not straight chocolate chips light chocolate chips so we're just gonna eat it mm -hmm. mouth's in your mouth not in your hand Good way to eat these. <laughs> John, I hope you're proud of me. I haven't even got your cereal yet. I'm just trying to make you proud. I'm doing this for the team. I'm a team player. Two handfuls left after this. Like I don't know about white chocolate. Mm. Comment below and let me know if you're a fan of white chocolate or if you prefer that milk stuff. I have some guys can see. This should be the last handful. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> this is actually the last handful. Let me try and do this. Wow, that was freaky. Nothing left. All done. Oof. Rice puddings now. I'm gonna move on. Ugh. since I've had this.
gluten free. Two more left, as you can see. camera decided to stop recording for some reason but anyways I'm gonna keep her going muffins they smell like blueberries little blueberry muffins tiny little thingies Remember the uh, Seinfeld episode with like the top of the muffin to you? They just sell like the top of the muffins because nobody likes to eat the stumps. Comment below if you like the whole muffin or if you just prefer that top. Let me know. Last muffin. There's two items left. The Captain cereal. Jeez. And some Cool Ranch. Save the Captain for last. All right. Oh jeez. Oh. Mm, that's good. That's so good. Halfway, I guess. You got a time up there? Five twenty-two. Same date, time. Well, same date, not time. Oh. Guess I should hurry up and finish this so I don't put the go in Go Leafs Go. Done. 
Oh. Oh, the Dorito fingers are so bad. Look at that. I'm not sure if you can see, but holy shoes. It's time for the captain. If you couldn't tell. Captain. Granola cereal. Recipe 91. The captain. Go oh, captain, my captain. Let's open this up. Oh no. There's coconut in here. Oh. Coconut is never here in my challenges. Reason for that is me and coconut do not get along very well, but it's for the captain, it's for the buds, it's for the team, it's for the challenge, it's for all of you. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like coconut. And I don't mean like lotion, because everybody likes that stuff, it smells great. I mean like actual coconut in your food. Let me know. All right. Oh, here, so you guys can see. I'm not gonna tip it too much, but kind of see, because I don't want the milk to fall over. You guys can kind of see from there. Granola-y. All right. Like it's good, but like, again, if you like coconut, it's probably delicious. Granola, lots of energy, but I'm already almost at my stomach's capacity at this point, and just ooh, coconut is not helping. As you guys can tell, only a little bit left. Oh, almost lost that spoon. I'll be surprised if we just feed the whole rest of the cereal up. Okay, cereal's done. I don't like coconut at all. That cereal was not bad in terms of, especially if you like coconut, you probably really enjoy it. Chocolate chips in it, but we did it. Got everything down. Total time, uh, 5.49. So a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and a half or so. Calories and macros total, they're gonna be up on the screen for you. Anyways, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. I'm also gonna toss some videos up from some previous food challenges of mine that I think you're gonna enjoy. Lastly, please just remember to subscribe to the channel though, if you haven't done so already, and toss this video a good old fashioned thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed me destroying a whole bunch of blue and white foods for the boys in blue. But until then, stay safe, stay hungry, go Leafs go, and we'll see you in the next one.